Oh, oh, Jesus, what? These aren't good signs. Yeah, I just seen the giant. Oh! You guys, this is not a good sign. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Ladies, gentlemen, NBs, we are going to be playing a horror game called The Shore. Shout out to Jagazal who gifted us this game. Uh, I don't know anything about it. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what it's... Uh, I've never seen it before. Um, we're going to be diving into this. So are you sure you want to... Well, we haven't played a new game, so... Uh, yes. Okay, I can click it twice before it loads up. Hopefully the game recording looks good. I don't know what it's going to look like, so uh, let's uh, check this out. So, um, The Shore is a Lovecraft... I, I'm pretty sure... My dear Ellie, I have to find her. I have to find her. Oh no, it's a pigeon. It's a seabird. Hello? Okay, I have to look at everything. Maybe it's just loading? Okay, sorry, I had uh, some FPS issues there, so... Uh, the... Seagull just doesn't care that I'm here. Can I jump? Okay, we're getting it's it's pretty choppy, not gonna lie. Um I guess we're gonna walk through. I guess we're not gonna walk through there. So we're looking for Ellie. That's all oh, there's a message in a bottle. Hello? How do I interact with something? E is my interact key. Hello? I've been Day 15. With John about how many actual days have passed since we ended up here. It seems that all of our hopes are drifting away, like these bottles should do. They always return to the island as if something is leading them back here. If you are reading this, we need your help. Okay, I gotta go through my, I gotta, I guess, go back through my menu here a little bit more and turn the volume up because he is really, really quiet. Um, okay, let's go. Turn the music up a little bit, turn the sound effects up a little bit. And hopefully that'll be better. Okay, day 15. We've been arguing about how long we've been on the island. So apparently there's a John. We're not John. Uh, we could be John, actually. I don't know. But, uh... Hello? A shred of hope. Oh, that sounds better. Oh, what a man needs to keep moving before he loses his sanity and his will. Walking, Walking along, the, along shore. the shore reminded me of the walks I used to have with my wife. For when I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil and walk through the dark with my eyes open. Mom. Okay, so that's mom. I thought that was like a uh, wife or a girlfriend that we're looking for. Ellie? So the only thing I know about this game is that it's like a Cthulhu-esque inspired uh, story. So I'm not quite sure what that's going to mean for us. So probably like a lot of like insanity and crazy stuff. Um, I actually just reached, recently watched a movie um, that was, I don't know if it was Cthulhu inspired, but uh, it was about we these two men who were trapped on an shore. island. To our surprise, um, we came across other ships that had wrecked without any trace of survivors. It was like a graveyard for ships. Our compass goes mad any time we try to set a course off the island. Our captain says it's because of the volcanic dust. <laughs> we think he's gone we mad. Think he's gone <laughs> mad. Sounds like the captain was right. Sounds like the captain was right. It's volcanic dust. You really think so, eh? Volcanic dust is setting off the uh, the compasses. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I can shift to run. I to open up inventory and inspect items. Okay, so we found this picture in the in the locket. It was facing the other way though. Uh, we have. This is the locket. My wife gave me, uh, my wife gave this pendant to Ellie before she left us. Glad to have found it. It's very important to her. I refuse to believe my daughter was swallowed by the vicious sea. I'm sure she washed up on the shore somewhere else around here. I will find this and give it back to her. Okay, so we got a couple things, but not a whole lot. So we got the a picture. We have a knapsack we can't, oh, and then the two, the two messages in a bottle. So Ellie is our daughter, I guess. Okay, I and we're shipwrecked. a fisherman who was lost in a stranded sea. He never came back. Now I know where he lies. What misfortunes could have drove him here? He says he knows what misfortunes could have drove, drove him I here, but we don't know. my right arm and spoke the correct words in his absence. Only pain accompanies me towards my demise. 
I offered my right arm. I was forced to leave the lighthouse. There's something wrong in all of us. Only the slumbering God can save us now. Okay, so that would be like the God one of the deep ones, right? About? What is he talking about? He's talking about the deep ones, bro. I offered my right arm. All right, that's a little drastic. So we must have shipwrecked here. Uh, clearly, that's like we just woke up on the shore over there, and that must be one of our boats or something. We've hit the shore. We can't find our daughter. And uh, we're, I guess we're heading to the lighthouse. I still have my right arm, I hope. Yeah, shift is toggle to run. Hello? It's like a goat octopus head, dude. Wait, did I put that on? Weird. Okay. So there's like tribal talismans around. What is this one? This one doesn't have one on it. Oh, none of them do. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole path. Of, okay, well, we're going to go investigate the lighthouse first. So, yeah, like most Lovecraftian kind of games are like... Sand for the last time, she asked me to tell her one of my stories about the wild sea. I could hear each of her breaths being shorter and shorter. And by the time I finished my story... Ammonia took her life. Okay, I don't know who he's talking about. Maybe his mother, I guess. I don't know. So I'm also trying to not, like, cut him off when he's talking. Maybe it's important. I know there's subtitles. You could read them over listening to me talk, but... Um, so we have some food here. Okay, we do have our right arm, so that's there. Okay, clearly we can't open that. Uh, we got a picture here, so that's... I would assume that's me and my daughter. I'm assuming I'm the guy. Anyways, I just recently watched a movie. Uh, some of its teeth are missing, though. I think that's normal for sharks that would be missing teeth, right? Okay, there's a wheel here, which looks like we'll be able to interact with it later. Hello? Okay, yeah, the it's a little jank on the... It needs three idols, but what for? That, uh, they speak of a figure that is roaming the shores. Don't kill the effing seagull. It's bad luck to kill a seagull. I wonder if this was inspired by that movie. I wonder if this was inspired by that movie, man. There was a movie. Okay, so it's about two guys, and they go to work at a lighthouse. And then, like, uh, the guy kills a seagull. And then they get stranded on the island. Uh, like, they get lost it there. And, uh... Anyways, it's a pretty wild story. I'm trying to remember what it's called. I think it might be just be called The Lighthouse. Willem Dafoe and uh, Edward Pattinson playing it. That's what it was. That's what it is. Hello? Game, can we not jank? Forms of the sculpture is unknown to me. Yeah, it looks pretty wonk. Oh, I'm hearing like weird glitchy sounds in my ears. That's not glitching from the game. Okay. Anyways, in the movie, there was something special about the lighthouse. The artifact we found, the statue, it looks ancient. Our captain says we should take it back with us and we should make us rich. David, on the other hand, believes that a foul stench and evil dwells within it. What utter rubbish. From the moment we wrecked here, he hasn't stopped talking about bad luck and otherworldly omens. I heard him talking to himself about throwing it back into the sea. I am almost certain he's mad. He's obsessed with these disgusting leeches he found. Can't stop talking about how these worms have at least nine stomachs and more than 30 brains and at least 18 testicles. He says that quality matters rather than quantity. We couldn't stop making jokes about it last night. After some time, he took it personally, thinking we were mocking him. He moved to the third floor of his lighthouse to continue his little experiments. Okay, pretty interesting. A short blue tongue, no eyelids. I tried to speak to them, but in turn, they hissed and growled. Uh, I made all kinds of weird noises uh, with no trace of language. Have you ever seen such creatures before? Something is wrong here, like the god have forsaken this place and its creations. I feel like people are not humans at all. They are hostile and seem to be very aggressive. There is no trace of civilized behavior to them. 
Uh, yet they seem to understand our movements and they have... Uh, as they have seen humans before, the fish-like deformities on them are present. Uh, they have tried several times to ambush us. The only solution for us to stay near the lighthouse, I'll study more of these abominations of the deep. Okay. Abnormal body shape, no symmetrical shape that can be defined in a logical form. Eight symmetrical mouths all over its body, quarreling and injured and seemingly forgotten. It's been 27 days since we are uh, here and came across something that our minds still cannot comprehend. How could such a thing exist? How does God justify this act? How can he allow such monsters to roam upon his creation? My mind is terrorized a million times as I try to visualize the beast. My hand is shaking as I draw each line. It is a plague of the mind. I decide to give it a name, the monster with a thousand mouths. It may seem strange, but I heard a voice, a voice more like a whisper in my ears that shivers down my spine. So that's pretty common for most like Cthulhu-esque, you know, Lovecraftian stuff. Like I said, madness is definitely a theme uh, in the Lovecraftian world. And even like, they say like just to see Cthulhu would drive you mad. You would not be able to like logically comprehend the form of the god. Uh, and his alone would cause you to be driven insane. I'm sorry about the game being a little choppy. I've... I don't know what's going on with it, so it's just like as we load into each area, it takes a little bit to load it up. Okay, so that's a point of interest, I guess. So far, it seems pretty cool, though. Okay, so anyways, as I'm looking off into the distance, I see this huge monolith uh, in the distance. It doesn't look like a lighthouse. But uh, I'm not quite sure what it is. We're gonna adventure our way up to the top half of the light, the top section of the lighthouse. We're finally up here. Yeah, in the movie I watched, there was something like majestic or mystical about the light. Uh, Willem Dafoe's character was the he called himself the Wiki, which I guess is the guy who tends to what would I be the Wick on the? I don't know. There are pieces missing. It's all Cthulhu like. Chess pieces, bro? What? There are pieces missing. There's one piece missing. Okay. Looks weird. This doesn't seem to be an ordinary statue. Every part of it is very detailed. My guess the artist behind it, this painting, was startled by it. Oh, look at that thing rising out of the ocean, dude. Or out of the sea, I guess. Okay, there's also a note on it. I saw something towards the horizon, behind the mist. It wasn't a whale or a great white shark. Its many legs stretched out hundred feet. It its numerous its legs stretched out hundred feet. It felt as if it was infected by a thousand parasites. From its tentacle mouth, it spit out black, disgusting and disfigured blob-like figures. <laughs> the moment they fell into the sea, they swam away faster than a dolphin. As the mist kept rising, I could barely see the creature. That These are not good signs. Sign. I should start. No way! Those talismans I found at the bottom of the lighthouse around the pathways we made. These aren't good signs. Yeah, it just seems a giant. Oh! You guys? This is not a good sign. Not a good sign. I didn't see it spit out any black blobs, so... Oh, there's a dead shark on the shore. That's kind of cool. Well, not cool, but it's interesting. Okay, so... Alright, that's it. Well, we didn't find anything interesting. Well, we didn't find anything... ...that we should know at the lighthouse. Oh, let's turn the lighthouse light on. Hey, we did it! We're amazing! Those uneducated fools. They won't let me write for them. They're all fishermen with dirty scuffed clothes and smell horrible. Their beards, Their beards smell of alcohol? There's nothing wrong with that. Talk. I'd rather stay another four hours at this point and take care of the problematic mechanisms of this handcrafted construct. I do not regret this journey. It certainly made life more interesting since then. 
Okay. Imagine the view from up here. All of the hatred, misery, and sadness of mankind fade away into the line where the sea and the sky collide. That's pretty poetic. There's not wrong there. It's a hell of a view. It's a hell of a view, all right. Uh, we got a coin here. Looks older, reminds me of the occult my father was a member of. Oh, uh, okay, so what? We're like preordained to be here somehow? Okay, so we're gonna deal with some of the jank as we run back downstairs. I can no longer sprint. Can I crouch? I can crouch, look at that. Okay, so we looked at that lighthouse, or we looked at the telescope, it told us, it basically, I think the game is telling us we wanna leave here. Oh man, the FPS is so bad. I hate to sound like a broken record, but. Okay, off we go. Now we're gonna go down this path here, right out the lighthouse. We're gonna walk towards that monolith. I don't know what that is. Cause that's what a lighthouse looks like. That don't look like no lighthouse. We're just gonna follow the path here. I guess I can sprint along it. Oh wait, what is this? It's another weird head statue thing? Ugh. Okay, we got some black sludge water. Or maybe it's blue. I oh! Ah! Ah! I seen you! I seen you! You disappeared though! Oh, oh, Jesus, what? You proceed into the pit. There's something I would like to show you. Uh, what is that voice? Get out of my head. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Does it happen when I look at it, or was that like a scripted event coming through this tunnel? And oh, head into the pit. There's something I would like to show you. What is that, a teleport? Hello? It's just an arch in there. How about I don't head into the pit? How's that sound? I don't think the game will let me do anything else. Oh my gosh, it's so wild. Okay, head into the pit. Yeah, okay, cool. Here we go. Alright, we just teleported. This monolith is the key of the silent. Break it free. Pretty cool voice though. It doesn't move? I bet you if you hit it hard enough it would move. Come on, Andrew, don't be such a wuss. Okay, so there's one, two, three sections here. Okay. Uh, music? <laughs> okay, I spun it. Alright. Look at the mist in the background. Like, the background looks so beautiful. Okay, let's sprint over. Let's get the second one here. Is the other one still spinning? Can I change it? Okay, I just have to engage with it. I'm sure this is gonna end fine. It's probably gonna like summon the old gods. Yo, what would you do if you were just like chilling and you see that in like the distance one day? You just wake up. Middle of the island, middle of the, I don't know, let's assume you live on an island, or maybe just in like the middle of the city or something like that, you just pop up and it's like, bang, you wake up and this is there. Is that the moon? That's gotta be the moon, right? Could be the sun, but the, it's not a very bright sun. Okay, are we breaking this free? Did I do what you wanted me to do? Maybe the last one does something now?
Bro, the music sounds like it's clipping. Okay, does this one move now? Hello? Okay, four, five, uh, hello? To see the world through the eyes of a god. Like a dream and a flash of what? light. What? He's got you legs? The existence of mind. And oh, he'd be walking. In your conscious mind. <laughs> oh, he got fingies. The key to the island walks. Am I just supposed to watch it go? What am I doing now? Do I leave? Hello? Yeah, Cthulhu can have this island. I don't want to be here. Okay, it feels like it's going to take forever to watch that thing walk off. Let's go back through here. Okay, what is going on here? We have like some mummified corpses going on. Ew. Oh, I can get out of the pit. Okay. I just had to walk up that little pathway there. I can still hear it walking. It's coming this way. Hey, Cthulhu, I did what you want me to do. I went in, oh wait, is this a little path over here? I went into your pit. Oh, I can't walk through there, okay. Okay, we have invisible barriers that don't let us cross over the rocks. I guess we're headed back to the lighthouse now. Okay, that monolith is still kicking. It's just gone around the island. I went to the lighthouse, I didn't see anything there. Oh wait, there's this way here we can go. We haven't been this way yet. Remember I came up here and I was like, Ooh, uh, oh, wait, I'll go to Lighthouse first. I thought this was the path that we were walking on, but uh, there's something else here. Uh, let's see where it takes us. Oh. Oh. More ominous, loud, bassy, whispery music. Uh, okay. What is going on? Should we go touch it? What? Oh, stop it. That's not my daughter's voice. No, that's a demon's voice. Very clearly. Bro. I didn't even hear what she said. I just heard something, something dead. I even have subtitles turned on and it didn't subtitle it. That's how unintelligible it was. The subtitles can even catch it. Okay, well we're, okay, cool. That was a fun experience. Let's go this way instead. So that must be like, what are the impact from like, if it came from space? I also just recently watched another really good movie um, that was, uh, another Lovecraftian film. I love Lovecraftian stuff. Um, uh, you know, the whole universe is really interesting to me. And I'm always big into, like, horror games and horror movies and stuff. Uh, I just recently watched a movie called The Color Out of Space, uh, with Nicolas Cage. And, boy, that was something else. That was a trip. Are these statues or these actual creatures? They look like statues. They're not moving. I don't think they're moving. They're offering something? Okay. 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 Oh, he's not offering. He's a greedy boy. You're a greedy boy, aren't you? Well, there was clearly nothing important here. Where else can I go? I'm kind of like lost here. We got the orb thing. We've seen the sacrificial offerings, I guess. I don't know what they are. Uh, I just found a metallic sphere marked with an octopus head on the ground. Okay, it doesn't do anything for us. 
Okay, so I made a change on my computer to try and adjust the issue. So hopefully it sounds, it seems like it's actually doing a lot better already. Yeah, the music's not clipping out anymore. Oh, that's a thousand times better, dude. It's a thousand times better. Stop it. Oh! I found the medallion. I found a medallion in the lighthouse. Did I put that in my inventory? Oh, and also a paper. From the moment it touched the artifact, uh, from the moment I touched that artifact, I uh, was stunned by the darkness within it. A million visions of horrific figure claimed my mind. A thousand whispers from the past of the future uh, terrorized the core of my soul. I fell to the ground as a glimpse of him told... Okay, and now it's just like do 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 dog and do Also, I did I don't know how I miss this, but there's a key in the chair. That's probably for the basement to the lighthouse. Okay, I found some things to do. Da, 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 da. There's also more stuff here. Oh, that's the same paper I just read. Okay, so we actually found a couple things. We found a medallion that we can probably put in the the worship altar, and also a key to the basement. So, hooray! I'm pretty excited about that. I thought we had to smash the log, but it looks like we'll probably have to... Yeah, just open it. Oh, this looks fun. Okay, see the crouch? Yeah, I got that. Hello? Bro, what are these people? to let him die in here. What made them forsake their civil ways? Cthulhu did. It's just a freaking body. I had to hide. I had to. I ran. I climbed the rocks. I tried to hide. And that's when I fell into a pit full of dead bodies. Their flesh, flesh looked rotten, but petrified. <clears throat> As if their souls sucked dry out of them. The horrors in their faces touched the very void of my soul. Expressions as something horrific happened to them. That's when the rest of my crew caught me. They stripped me naked and locked me down here. They accused me that I was the one that brought the bad luck to them by placing those talismans for them and blocking the pathways. All I wanted was to keep them safe despite their uncivilized behaviors. I mean, they gave him food. Look, he didn't even need his food, man. There's like a bun there and stuff. He died on his own free will. He gave up. Oh, this guy didn't. That one didn't give up, but you know, that's another story. There's a blue handprint on the rock. Okay. We didn't find anything down here though, right? Is there a reason why we would all want to come down here otherwise? We can't mess with this gauge. Maybe that's just some story lore there. Oh no, we got a we got a talisman or a coin or something like that. Now the game said in one of the papers that two talismans are missing. We have one for sure. And I think the other talisman that we have, oh, this is not the right way to go. I think the other talisman that we have is uh Which way do I go, though? Is it this way or is this way to the pit? I cannot remember. Okay, that's to the pit, and we don't go that way. Um, we go around the blob, which is down this way here. Now, it said there was two talismans missing, but we found the coin that one of these guys are missing out of the cup. So we're going to go see if we can put it there. But the other one, the talisman, is... Uh, I'm assuming the other, the coin that we have is not the talisman that we're looking for. Okay, so we made it back down to this uh, this ring. Now, one of these guys... Where is he? This guy here. Oh, oh, Jesus! Ah, what the? What? What? I'm cool. Are you kidding me? What did that do for us? Oh! I took damage. I think I took damage. I don't have like a health bar or anything. <laughs> what? 
There's a couple paths on the island that were like locked though, so I, I'm gonna go check those statues. <laughs> see if there's a. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna go see if the statues are opened up yet. Okay, so this statue is not. Wait, I can interact. Oh! Okay, so that's one of the talismans. The other talisman is missing. We'll probably find the other talisman over here somewhere. As a young boy, I remember my father talking about this island. <sighs> he described it in a way that would scare the listener. No way! He spoke of black butterflies, corpse candles, and broken compasses. What is a corpse candle? Huh? Day five. There was a man aboard named Alan who went missing after we shipwrecked. One night, we found him walking alone across the beach. As we approached him, to our surprise, we saw that he had this fixed expression on his face, as if he had seen something horrifying. His Why hands, you don't? His hands and a monster arms rising out of the sea in a position like if he was protecting himself from something. We tried to ask him questions, but he didn't reply. Now he's sitting by the shore, singing songs to the rocks about reflections in the sea. All right, he crazy. I wonder what he saw. He saw Cthulhu. Okay, so it's coming to me that a corpse candle is like a blue flame, like Saint Elmo's fire kind of thing. You guys are familiar with that? So, um, I always recognize Saint Elmo's fire for like Final Fantasy Seven. One of the one of the monsters used to use an attack called that. It was like a blue fire. Uh, okay, so here's that dead shark, or whatever this is. I'm pretty sure it's a shark. It feels like it's maintained, untouched by time. The wind and the waves pause for a minute to rest. The okay, I'm sure. Before the storm. Huh, that's comforting. Let's just look into his beady old black eyes and his big sharp mouth. What you going on in there? Huh, all right. Another message in a bottle. Oh, I can actually go in the water? The one guy say he doesn't go in the water. I think I seen it on the blackboard. He's like, I don't go in the water. It belongs to them. Yeah, well, it belongs to me now, baby. It's like a chain attached to a rock. It's one way to anchor your ship, I guess. Nothing there. Another message in a bottle. I can barely describe what I have witnessed today. That old fool Alex suddenly went insane. He started stuffing his mouth with rocks. He kept doing so until his cheeks were completely torn. We had to tie him down. If you're reading this, send help. What? He's just like started putting rocks in his mouth? There's definitely something wrong with this guy. Wow. What a freaking observation, dude. You don't say someone's shoving rocks in their mouth until their cheeks split? I recognize this boat. It was made by an artist to represent our greatest catch. How did it end up here? This was meant to be completed by the end of December. It's still September. Yeah, well, I got, I got news for you, Andrew. You not in Kansas anymore, bro. You on the island of Cthulhu. Okay, so we found the other seal that will open up the other side of the island. Oh, another Spider message here about the island. He would often come here fishing some very colorful fish. I remember finding myself quite disturbed as I watched him stuff his mouth with their raw meat. Uh, I'm assuming he's talking about his father? What's happening? Every man, Every man for themselves. They all started losing <laughs> their minds. Like what happened to Thanos. Yeah, Thanos. He his own fingers and cut his eyelids. He was screaming something about being ready to receive the gift of the Watcher. I've lost track of time. I don't know what the date is anymore, nor the hour. The sun isn't the moving. The sun isn't moving? Why is the sun not moving? If you're reading this, then I hope you end up here too. What? Why would you wish that on anybody else? 
Okay, so a guy cut his fingers off or started eating his finger. Dude, yeah, so that's like, this is on brand for the Lovecraft. Okay, Lovecraftian horror, this is on brand. Um, I was talking earlier about a movie I watched, the 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 color of this color out of space. It was a really good film about. It was another Lovecraftian film. I know I was talking about it. And I I lost track of what I was talking about, but um, it was a really good film. And it's about a meteor that hits the Earth and a and it has a color to it that is like only described as a color out of space, and um, the madness that ensues on the rest of the the area as uh, as it spreads its influence and it's a really really good film and i am uh i was just shocked at how good it was it was so good i watched it more than once and that's uh that's a that's a that's an accolade for me to for me to sit down and watch something once and then for me to sit down and actually what there it is that's what it looked like that's the color out of space what is this all right, we got a cool cutscene going on. I'm glad I fixed the graphics for this time. All right, we just got the brain worms. Yeah, the achievement. It was just a color. A color out of space. Oh, dude, I was just talking about that. It's so cool. Uh, it was a really good film. And uh, again, I'm like I said, I'm a big fan of, uh, of Lovecraft stuff, so... Not so much the person, but the the world and the, the universe is uh, pretty impressive. Was this just an Easter egg? We just got an achievement for finding that? Ah, dude, that's so cool. What is that? Is that just uh, like a nest? Oh, it's just a seagull nest. Yeah, and in the movie that I watched, the other movie the, about the lighthouse, um, oh wait, I don't think I've seen this before. There was like a really specific thing about not killing the seagulls and the guy made a really big deal about it. He's like, don't kill. Hello? Yo, we just tripping. We're just tripping all sorts of balls here right now. Okay, we found the other Madonna. Let's go to the other side of the island. Let's check it out. Um... But yeah, no, there was a really big deal about not killing the seagulls. It's like a, you know, like an old sailor's myth that the the seagulls are the lost souls of, I don't know, other sailors or something. And, uh... Okay, let's go, let's go. I went the wrong way. But yeah, so anyways, and in the movie, he does end up killing a seagull and it causes the, the madness there to ensue. Okay, so we got this statue here. We're off to find the other statue, which is just beyond the other side of the lighthouse. So we'll, I'll keep you guys with me. I won't jump cut here. Um, but yeah, no, I did. I was able to fix the graphics. So like we're seeing it much better now. It's less, less choppy. Um, you know, by the time you guys have watched this, you'll see the start of the video. But all right. So we made it here. Uh, let's pop that medallion in there and let's see what's going on. And let's see what's going on. All right. So we've made it to that side. Hold shift the sprint. Thank you. This place feels like it was always a part of me. As if it has taken a hold of me and won't let go. Another, Another foot, foot in the sand. sand. But this time sink deeper beneath the shore. Okay, there's that dang bird again. Now in the movie I was watching, the bird was being a pest. So this bird is being pretty chill. Hello? We do not walk the shore when it's night. Uh, we do not walk the shore. When the night comes, something in the dark seems to follow it with great speed. We hid inside the small cave. We had to stay there for the rest of the night. To begin to fear that we are no longer safe on this island, we have to leave. But it seems everything works against us. Its long tentacle legs seem to be very strong. A boulder before it shuddered into, shattered into pieces with a single strike. My other half mind tells me I should stay behind and study them. And the other half tells me I should leave now. Is there any point where you watch a tentacle creature shatter a boulder and say, huh, it's very aggressive. It's probably going to kill me. I should stick around and study this creature. I'm sure it won't mind. Uh, John, one of the crew members, John, one of the crew members found a camera. If we get it to work, we should try taking 
uh, a few pictures. Yeah. Smile! Sure, it'll be fine, right? Honestly, I'd rather read it than have the narrator read it. It is nice to have a voice actor, though. Okay, nothing here, nothing here. Now, it felt like we had two ways to go once we got here, so... Oh, can I mess with this bird's eggs? Ugh, ugh, stupid bird stepping on your eggs. What are my feet doing? Look at my feet go. Anyways. Uh, okay, so nothing over here. We got that note. So don't be on the shore at dark. Huh? Nothing? Okay, the music just died. Well, the music is like doing something. It's just like chilling out. I thought the music died when I walked into this part of the beach, so. <laughs> you know something gonna happen. So anyways, yeah, there's definitely a couple good, uh, good couple horror movies with some Lovecraftian horror in them. I find that Lovecraftian horror is either hit or miss, though, you know? It's like, sometimes it's all, sometimes it's nothing. Oh, what a cute little pupper! What a cute little pupper! What is this? Looking upon my daughter's toy gave me oh. some sort of happiness. That's a toy? Yeah, and I can't take my mind off the idea she's been taken by one of those creatures. Or you just took an ashtray and stuck a straw in it? Class act, Dad. Class act. Okay, what else can we find up here? She's been taken by one of those creatures? Yeah, well, uh, it's probably likely. Is that another bird? So many birds. I don't know if it's the same bird or if it's like different birds or like the birds are multiplying or what? It's not my fault. A person has already died here. Jay spoke about a shadow whispering between the rocks. We can't stay on this island anymore. We have to leave now. It's not my fault. I begged him not to go into that basement. Uh, the account of the story that we got was that he was thrown into the basement, if that's the same guy, uh, by his fellow crewmates. Okay, we go one way or we go the other? This way looks super ominous. Okay, I'm going. I'm sold. Looks like a pig head. Hello? Oink, oink. Okay, it's missing something. Oh, it's got little merman mermaids going on there. I don't know. Let's see what's going on over here. Solitude and peace is what a soul seeks after being free. Did they die in vain? It appears they were murdered. What a horrible way to find solitude. Oh, uh, well, if you died on this island, I don't think you're making it out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's just three dudes chilling, and then they got the fish creatures behind them? <laughs> this is going to make a wonderful... Yeah, okay. That lasted long. <laughs> Cameraman takes a picture. Fish people show up, eats them immediately. Uh, okay, we can... We can space to jump? We've never been able to jump before until just now. I've pressed the space bar to check. I've been checking, don't you worry. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, a little propane grill, that's kind of nice. Ooh, a pipe? Hook me up, baby. Okay, we got, okay, that's one of the things we're missing. Yeah, they definitely seen what the hell was on this island. Okay, that's the piece that's missing from the statue. Okay, that doll is missing an arm and it's creepy as hell. <laughs> All right, let's go. Huh? Oh, uh, hello? My arm is itchy. It felt like something was crawling in my arm. Uh, I just seen a person peek around this corner here. Okay, hold on. Before we put this in here, we're going to take a second. All right, let's see what this statue brings us. We put a little thing in here. Wait, did we check that? Oh, it's just a something. I don't know what that is. Is it a piece of wood or what? But Blonk. Okay, I'm afraid to turn around. I'm afraid to move. What is this? It's a 
Whoa, I can see the stars! Oh, what up? You seek your golden back. I can help you. But you will have to do something for me first. What, cut off my eyelids and eat my fingers? I'll do anything. Anything to see her face again. You sure about that, Chief? Okay, there's the little black orbs that the game was talking about. That the... Okay, the portal broke. Hey, what's up, big fella? It was like a giant cockroach or something, man. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm cool. What is it? Oh, well, there's the fish guy. Ah! Runs faster than me. I'm going. I'm getting out. Leave. Run away. Okay. Are you kidding me? I thought you wanted me to do you a favor. You out here killing me for it? Okay. Don't mess with the fish people. Got it. Oh, he's still after me. Run! I'm going! That thing moves faster than me, though. Oh. Uh. Ah! Get dunked on, nerd! Get smooshed! Another statuette. This. My father used to make offerings to the sea. Great, your father is the reason why we're here. Oh, uh, hello? They have coins in their eyes? Is that like a sailor thing? Ugh. All right, what's this? Nom nom nom, it's a fishy. Yo, what's up, cockroach? Yeah, why would you send me to do a favor for you if you just have monsters around the area? You know he's trolling us. Oh, uh, we going for a swim? We going for a swim, baby! In we go to the water. Now, through the depths, you will find your Destiny. I don't want to see my destiny. I just want to see my daughter. Her name ain't destiny, bro. It's Ellie. Get your shit right. Okay, I can't sprint and I can't jump anymore. See, I told you I've been checking. Through the depths, we'll find our destiny. Huh? Can't crouch. All my controls are disabled except for like walk and move and like look around. So. Okay, looks cool underneath the water. I played a game where you spent a lot of time underwater actually a long, long time ago. It's on the YouTube channel. If you guys search it up, it's called Soma. It's another horror game. Uh, hello? Bye-bye. You spent a lot of time walking underwater in that game. Scouring the skyline. What is that? Bro, that ain't of this world. Okay. I don't think there's anything for us to investigate down here, so we're just kind of going through the depths. Oh, I think we found it. Uh, do we just straighten all these out? You guys made a mess of this. Don't worry, I'll fix it for you. I'm a fixer. Oh, wait. We gotta find the right. Oh, okay, okay. We gotta make the right pattern. Hello. At what point do you create something? Look, they made these monoliths. 
underwater. Man didn't put these here. So then, why didn't you just put them in order? It's like ancient, massive civilization. Or this like god civilization. Can't even make your own statues right. For shame, dude. That's depressing. Okay, what? Oh, it's that one. Okay. Ta-da! All right. Ooh, that Shadow looks... Shadow and I came to a curious sort of an agreement. My lack of empathy has phased out any trace of fear. How did my monotonous self come closer and closer to the fact that nothing surprises me anymore? Have I lost my humanity? No, just your mind. You just lost your mind. What discovering is the potential? <laughs> How far would you go, Andrew? How far would you go for her? I would fall into the darkest pit to save her. Well, I hate to tell so you there, Andrew. Weird. Oh! Okay. So, Andrew, you said you wanted to jump into a pit, did you? Oh, where you go? No? No? Ugh! Ugh! Dude. I didn't know I had a chase scene. Okay, we're gonna die again. Run, 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 run. I'm the boss, baby fat kid. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Go! What is going on here, man? Save me, you creature. Hello? Wait, did it actually save me? Touch the relic. Okay, I touched it. Oh. Dude, the cutscenes are so cool. But I wonder. So, I know in the Cthulhu like universe, in the Deep Ones universe, like the the lore, there's multiple gods. I don't know anything about the gods though. But. uh I don't know anything about the gods, but it seems that they're like not all of the same hive mind, you know, like they all, hello? Hello? Oh, I put the galaxy star in that thing. Look behind you. This black plasmic abomination will consume everything in its way. Oh, oh, what the? What? Look behind you. Wait. I'm looking for a try. I was trying to listen to what you were saying, bro. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Bro, that was a little unfair. Okay, we're going to try that again. Look behind you. Yeah. I thought he was talking about that thing. In its way. Hurry. Find the artifact. What is this? Oh no! I'm I'm fight back! Are we fighting back now? We can fight now? Oh you about to get punched? Uh oh, get out. All right, we're good, we're good. Nope, not that way. We're going up this way? Yup. We're trying to find a triangle artifact, huh? Get out the way! 
You want to catch a fist of this? You don't want to catch these sailor hands. Uh, we're getting our ass beat. That's got to be it. Oh! I don't think I can fight back that one. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Are you triangle in shape? Now what do I do? Hold to use the artifact. Oh, get dunked. Yeah, chomp on that, baby. Am I just killing this thing? Did I die? Did I win? Oh, man, the life of a simple sailor, huh? I'm walking it, bro. Yo, we in out of space, bro. Hello? Dude. Hey, suck it! It doesn't work against him. Uh, I'm at the path of the void, man. I think I went to the end of the path. Did I go the wrong way? Okay. We're gonna try walking back. Oh, you like that? Okay. Well, he doesn't mind, it seems. The artifact will fail me, but I don't know where to go. I went up to the end of your path there and then nothing happened. There's not a lot of places to go on a one-way path into space, you know? Where'd you come from? Where'd you even come from? Wait, that's what I had to do? I tell you, that thing wasn't there before. We walked up and down that path. Oh, uh, you don't like that? Oh, uh, you don't like that? See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Look how cool this place looks, though. It's like tears in space. It's like space and then the tear in space. It's kind of sweet. I love it. Oh, we gotta touch it. We gotta touch it. Touch, touch. So is the guy, is the thing, is the voice talking to me? Is that the thing I shot with the artifact, the eyeball thing? Hello? That's a left hand, not a right hand. No, the one, no. I What do you need? What do you pull me out for? What'd you put me in here for in the first place? Use it wisely. Is he like saying I have like limited ammunition for my death ray? Okay. Huh. Fine. Yeah. Not today. You're not getting me. Yeah, you're done. Ah! You're not done! Ah! Oh, it's not working, Chief! Oh, I guess I'm probably supposed to go past this thing. Okay, let's bust it up and try to run past it, I guess. Okay, run past. Uh, nope, nope, nope. We got you. We got you. We got you. Blow up! Oh, there's more of them? Oh. Okay, we just going. We going. How many more of these things are there? Oh. Uh, Go, go, go. Like we hit him with the stunner. Then we got a runner. Oh, there's a door there. 
Are they stuck there? Oh, I can't go through there. I think they're stuck there. I don't think they can come in. Okay, let's go. Uh, hello, I'm all demons. Oh, hello. What the f- <sighs> Okay. I'm calm. I'm cool. This is fine. Well, I don't have a hand for it. Have your hand? No. Shoot you in the eyeball? He's missing a right hand. What the hell is going on here? They're all missing hands. That doesn't work. Ah! I'm just going to take that. You don't mind, do you? You don't mind. You just go in there. Okay, one, two, three, and then... You don't have a hand. You don't have a hand. Oh, I need your hand. Thank you. Yep, you look over there, you unlock that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, your head just moved. I seen it. Ah, uh, your head's moving too? Wait. If I don't look at them, look at the ones like off screen. They moving until I look at them. Shock Pikachu phase. All right, let's get the freak out of here. So the storyline of this game is uh, adding up pretty quickly. Uh, Oh, what's up? Just a large orifice in the wall. Oh yeah, our freedom. I'm sure, yeah, you got my best interest in mind. Are you the crawling one? You a monster? Uh, bro. A plate? Okay, well, I can't fry that one. Oh, a face? Here, Andrew. You are aware of another voice. Ignore it. We are one step closer to achieving what we came for. Do not let the chasm of the void take you. Your daughter needs you to be strong now. Follow me through the dark. All right, I'm just here, man. I'm just here. I'm just living. Trying to live. I don't know. Hello? <laughs> all right my hand is all messed up what what is happening to me uh well we're turned into a statue or something i don't know important. what's most important is the exchange for coming this far your resilience of both mind and body is extraordinary now head straight to the shore Make good use of the artifact you hold and release him. Who's him? Who's him? Okay, we can't go up this way. Bwah! I got the artifact of the gatekeeper. Uh, hello? Can 
Can I kill the bird? Should I try it? Oh, the bird doesn't care. The bird's immune. Fair enough. Okay, listen. Actually, I'm gonna call this recording here. Um, I wanna come back and do this. I heard the game is like two, maybe three hours of playtime, so I didn't wanna do it all in one and just upload one giant video. Uh, one more time at the start of the video. Sorry about the quality. I did get it sorted and fixed. So the next time we play will also be really, really good. Um, but yo, ladies, gentlemen, envies, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this game is super cool and I love the story so far. It's like a walking sim, but I like these kind of, these like, these stories that they tell. This is really cool. Uh, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and be well. Stay awesome. Do great things. I love your faces. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, you love me, Oh, won't you rub your finger?